So we still got the power steering reservoir loose. Just leave that out of the way. We got the harness pulled up on this side here. I've rotated the compressor housing, which is still loose. Just rotated it down some. Okay, so we get the right angle. Here's our hose, the long hose. Gonna come through here <coughs> onto the compressor housing. So once you got that done, just feed it up through there. Work it a little bit. Get it on. If you need more angle, just give it more angle. You need less, rotate it back up the other way. Keep playing it to what you got, you got what you want. Alright. So that's close enough. First start. The other side, I just push this hose through for now. Alright. I'm gonna leave this excessively in there. I'm gonna drop the intercooler on. I'm gonna slide it into this fitting here. It'll pull out. Should have enough room. And uh, after that, we'll put our bolts in. Next side, front end will be done. So th that side I just pushed over a little too far. This side's still out of the way. Got the intercooler moved over this side. I'm gonna push it in, slide it to there. We'll have to work and get our silicone on that side. We'll pull it that way, work that side. It is tight. Have patience and work at it. I'm using a, just a pick right here. It's blunt ended so you don't you poke a hole in anything. But this will help us to walk it around if we need it. So let's try it. Okay, we do the same on this side. Lighting's in the way. Okay, we're almost there. All right. All right, we'll move this around, get our bolts in. Okay, so we got the intercooler put on here. I got the bolts pushed through. Now, like on this side here, I, I couldn't get the bolt to line up right, so I used my mirror. I got it right inside there, and I was able to see, you know, which way I needed to move the intercooler forward, back, tip it, move it a little bit. These holes are larger than the bolt, so it has a little bit of play in it. Um, so now we're gonna reach behind, put our lock washer and our nut, and then we should be able to just tap the front on it without holding the back, and it'll be fine. But first we're gonna make sure it's square and measure it up.
Charge one. So we got it here, we're a little forward. You can just push this piece here like that. They're tight and they're not gonna rub because it'd be too tight to chafe. They're just gonna sit still. All right, so we got our band clamp, fully banded, of course. We want the nut to be underneath here. So when you see it, all you see is the, is the blade itself of the clamp. You're not gonna see the mechanics of how it goes together. So get it on. See how it looks good like that? And then start with it up like this. And then really no matter what angle you're at, you're just gonna see that clean line. The same thing on this side. You try to put the clamps on earlier, they're not gonna let you grab this because the clamps can be in the way. So you're gonna put the clamps, you just open the clamp all the way up and put it on. All right, get it so it's nice and square. Okay, and then uh, we'll put the grill back up real quick and get a good look of what it's gonna look like. This one, I'll just move up just a little bit more. All right. Okay, so we've got the intercooler mounted up. Our front hose is on. Now, I want to put the clamp on the turbocharger compressor housing right here. When I'm looking at it, it's really, I need like another quarter inch or so. All of this has got play so that you, so everything um, kind of has some give to it, but I really want to get about a quarter inch or so there. So what I'm going to do is, okay, I'm going to put my clamp on first, wrap it around, figure out which way you want to route it. This is, this is what I recommend here. So I'll get this on here first. Okay. I want it facing up. Okay, and I use my 3 8 electric ratchet a lot. So, I got a pry bar right here because I just want a quarter inch. I mean, it's nothing to it. Put it on the on the on the um, tensioner there. I just gave it just a little bit of pull right there. All right. It's got a little memory, so it'll kind of want to stay there. Okay, get that close. See, I can even take it off. It already stayed there. But with the hose all the way up and in place, you can see how well it really does fit. There just may be a little shift in the pipe. So get it right where you want it. Right on top. Okay, it's on the flange, and hopefully I can move this out of the way so you can see it real well. It's all the way up on there, so it really does look excellent. So now I'm just gonna go back around here and tighten the six bolts on the compressor housing. All right, just, a, just snug, you know, you don't have to over tighten them, just nice and snug, pretty simple. And then after this, I'm gonna modify the power steering reservoir so that it um, gives us the clearance we need for that hose. We'll put the air filter back on. And there's only two steps left. 